Check, levels are checked. I'll be right with you guys. This is the Love and Bass Show with myself for now. Be right with you. Yes, yes. Usually I'd have Mickey Flair right next to me, but he's not here tonight. He is working. So I'm going to hold the show for y'all. That's right. I said y'all. So tonight, this is the Love and Bass show with Mickey Flair and myself, but he isn't here. Um, he is out uh, making a living, which he should be, uh, since he had an expensive weekend over the weekend. But uh, we have a special guest tonight, uh, DJ McGat. We call him the little guy. I think he just turned 30. Yes, that's right. 30 years old. Oh, who's this coming through? Oh, it's Demetra. What's going on? Loyal fan and guest. Always welcome. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm here alone tonight. And um, I will be hosting a show by myself. It's going to be short and quick. I'm not going to talk too many about too many topics. But Magat is a somewhat of a new cat to the scene. But through the eyes of certain people. But he's been around forever. And uh, he's always been loyal to drum and bass. I mean, goddamn, he's got tattoos of Diesel Boy's uh, emblem on it on his uh, on his body. So the guy loves drum and bass. Uh, he loves it completely. And so we're gonna talk to him tonight. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. So I got my loyal friend right here. It's the brand new uh, MacBook Pro. It's very nice. It's very easy. And it's easy to do things correctly and right. And I'm going over the schedule. We got a really busy schedule. And uh, coming up uh, tonight, like I said, supposed to be Mickey Flair, or, um, supposed to be McGat. And then next week we got uh, Gandhi. Now he he hit me up the other day. Gandhi, we love Gandhi. Now Gandhi isn't really a DJ, but that's his kind of nickname that we call him in the scene. Now Gandhi is a sound man, an engineer man. He is the guy that puts stages together and, and lighting and sound. He is what we call a stagehand. He's something that I do. 
He does it. Uh, he works for vendors. I work for a union. So it's a little different, but it's the same kind of concept. So he'll be on the show next week, and he's going to talk about some of these different stories of of uh, the scene and how many parties he's done and, and what he's experienced uh, throughout the years in the scene. Because, he, you know, we got to start somewhere, and that's uh, where he's going to start. So Gandhi's going to be a- at the end of the month. And then next month, we have a whole slew of people. We're going to have more girls next month. Uh, because August is usually a busy month for me and uh, for the scene, parties and whatnot. It's like the last month before uh, it gets a little cooler, you know, that fall season. So, with that being said, uh, last week, uh, I believe, was a really good time at Chalice. Didn't really respond after Chalice. I missed last week's Tuesday because uh, we were in, in Vegas, Mickey Flair and I, and we were in Vegas and uh, didn't do Tuesday's show. So uh, didn't really report on Chalice, but Chalice was amazing. They sold over 15,000 tickets. Uh, the three stages uh, were somewhat, they were pretty cool. The main stage was cool. It was really nice, done nice. The t- other two stages were cool. But um, the there were some vendors in the middle of where would be the audience, so it was a little tight. But I did enjoy the experience and the opportunity that these stages provided for the artists, and it showed people's talent. It was really nice. Chalice did a really good job coordinating uh, the artists and the talent. Um, I wish the dressing rooms were a little cooler because it was like 110 degrees and it was retarded, <coughs> hot. Uh, it got so bad that Mickey Flair fainted and uh, he fell to the ground. And so we had to nurse him and uh, make sure he had plenty of water because he only had two bottles of water in a 14 hour period. So that'll do it to anybody, especially in that degree weather. It's pretty nasty. So um, Chalice was great. The whole vibe was great. Um, great success. Buster Rhymes uh, killed it. Uh, the sound was on point. They had brand new speakers, brand new tops. It was just really, really good job. Really good job. And then uh, Chalice was two days, and uh, it was a success. And then we were off to Vegas, and that's where I didn't even do the show on Tuesday. So we have stories to say about Vegas, but uh, I really don't want to talk about them because, um, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But usually what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas but you usually have to make a decision at the end of the trip on what you have to do. You know, kind of a perspective on life. So, with that being said, uh, I'm going to take a little quick little break because, you know, i got to go through some uh, messages because I got some messages the other day um, from some viewers stating uh, how the, how awesome the show it is. They are talking about me. They were talking about Mickey, and I kind of wanted to bring that to light and uh, say thank you to the viewers and I will uh, be talking about what they said and uh, and uh, we'll be right back with you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.
Yes, yes, I'm back, I'm back. I had to do some research uh, on a few things. Uh, I was talking about uh, uh, the viewers on how they have taken the show so far. I've done five shows so far. Actually, wait a minute, I've done one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, today would be the fifth, fifth show, and uh, the response is immaculate. Um, on the third show, uh, the numbers have doubled, if not tripled, uh, in viewers just because of how true and how real this show is. Uh, it's just a viewpoint, this show, on how the scene really is and what to expect. Stories, you know, our own take on this drum and bass scene, this club scene, this, this scene that we do during our 20s and into our 30s. And basically this is what this is about. So, and this underground scene, there is a scene and it's there. And so we're there to, well, I'm here to educate because I've been through it for 14 years. So I know what's going on. I know what's happening. Or I know what's going to happen. I know how people's minds work. And it's crazy. So with that being said, I invite friends that I've met over the years, like McGat. He's going to be here shortly. And he's actually the future of this scene because he just turned 30. There's cats that he lives with, um, roommates, and at in your 20s and your 30s you either you move in with your girlfriend or you leave your house and move in with a friend or you find roommates and get a house and that's what McGat did he got a house and he has his roommates living with him and they're all in the scene they're all producers they're all DJs or have some kind of um, business in the entertainment world and they all live together and they created this little thing called Villains. So he's part of the Villains crew. Uh, he was part of Boomcast TV, but don't know why he left. I think because he thought I left and so everybody left. No, I didn't leave. I, was just, I just went to sleep because I was tired of the bullshit. But now I'm awake and I feel refreshed. So I'm ready to bring on uh, some new things. So with McGat, he is a up and comer and he's been around for a minute so that's why we say all up and covers feel like they've been around forever which they have been and they have been around forever and another person that I also want to bring up for next week is Gandhi he is the technical side of the scene he's the one who brings the extra sound he it's not only pure filth uh, that represents uh, the sound system the underground sound system but it's also Gandhi and his champion sound and he does all stuff like that as well and I think Gandhi's such a great guy that I even got him in the union because he's very technically sound and he knows his trade very well so that's why he's one of the guys actually probably the only guy that I got into the union that uh, I feel that could actually walk into the union and uh, carry his own weight I tried with other people but they just let me down, and so I just don't feel the need to help them anymore. 
because all they do is let me down. And so if they're going to let me down by not being attentive, there's no point for them to even be a part of it. So it's a, it's a all or nothing when you're in the union. So there's no picking what you can or can't do. You have to be a jack of all trades. So Gandhi is that, just that guy. Uh, and also back to the viewers, um, I wanted to bring up that uh, I've actually had a couple of viewers. When I was at the, the Special Olympics at the Coliseum, um, I didn't realize that a lot of the viewers were my coworkers. They came up to me and said, hey, we're watching the show. I'm like, what? Are you serious? I would never expect you guys, out of all you guys, would watch the show. He said, yeah, you, me and my buddies would watch the show. And we want to let you know that the show is fucking awesome. We, we, we respect what you're doing and we think it's amazing. And then they asked me uh, some certain questions about Mickey. And I'm like, who's, who's that guy? Because he doesn't really say too much. I'm like, well, you know, that's just Mickey. That's his perspective on things. You know, that's why he, I got him on the show. Because he kind of, you know, is, brings the light kind of kind of things to, to the table. And I bring the realism. He's like, yeah, but that's what we like. We like the realism. We don't feel like they're not getting real things from Mickey. I'm like, well, that's what I'm getting. And that's the truth. I'm getting it from the viewers. So that's what I'm hearing, feedback. And then um, also a big show coming up. Um, I really don't promote too many uh, drum-based shows. But when I do see... Uh, a potential good show and an actual artist that I respect dearly. His name is uh, Matt Deco. He'll be part of uh, Respect uh, this Thursday night. It'll be All Munit and Q Project. Should be a good show. Um, Matt Deco is a buddy of mine I met at uh, Temple Boom years ago and uh, came from Atlanta. And that's where we met. And he went to, I think he went to USC, he graduated from there. So that's where I met him. And speaking of uh, USC schools and let's go into pol politics. Can you believe that Donald Trump guy? Oh, my God. Man, with all that hoopla that he's doing, he's actually up in the polls. So whatever he's doing, he's winning. So more power to him, I guess. <clears throat> so with that being said, McGatt should be coming through the door pretty soon. It's 1027. And it's only me really talking about stuff because I'm the only one here. I'm not out selling cars. So, everybody's got to make a living. And good, good, big ups to Mickey for selling two cars today. Uh, good job. Thanks for letting me know that you weren't going to be here. Oh, that's right. It was like 20 minutes ago. So, yeah, with that being said, um, we're going to take a little break because I got to get ready for Matt. I think he's going to come to the door pretty soon right now. So, take a quick break. I need a drink.
Yes, yes, we're back, we're back, we're back. I had to get some structured material here. I was remembering a conversation I had earlier today with a, uh, with a friend. He's actually a really good friend of mine, even though it was actually a heated conversation. And I was asking him certain things, and I wanted his perspective on how I was doing the show. And I got some constructive criticism. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it was, you know, I was looking for, I guess I was, saying I was looking for an answer, a good answer, but... It was actually an answer of why I was doing the show. Well, let me clear up a few things why I'm doing the show. I'm here for two things. I'm here to... I'm here for redemption. And I'm here for... Education. I'm here to educate the new cats. The new kids. The 20-year-olds. The 25-year-olds. The questions that they're asking. Who's in charge? Why is it this way? How does it change? What do I do? In situations that I can't get out of. Those are all relative questions that people are asking now. And I'm here to educate and get my point across. And to watch out for certain parasites out there to avoid at all costs. Because you don't want to waste your time because it's more valuable than your money. And believe me, you'll lose both if you go down the road and start believing people's bullshit. Just focus on yourself and do what's right. That's what it boils down to. That's the end of it all. That's your answer. Just do you. And I'm here to educate and enlighten the people that have a different perspective that want to follow. Don't be a follower, be a leader because following gets you nowhere and people see it from a mile away so that's why I'm doing the show and I also want to bring out all these people's friends all my friends you know all people that I know growing up in the scene doing business in the scene dealing with drama in the scene dealing with attitudes and personalities in the scene I'm bringing it to the table 
and have your perspective on what you think about this underground scene. It's your own opinion. I'm just bringing the light to the table, and that's all I'm doing. Is it your choice if you want to believe them or not? Yeah, go ahead. I know what's real, because I've been dealing with them for 14 years. And it's all up to you now. But I'm here to, for you to make that decision on your own. So that's why I'm doing the show. So next week, um, we got Gandhi. And he's one of the guys that pretty much will tell you every different story. Every desert party. Every entertainment thing, venture that's uh, been done. Believe me, he's done it all. That'll be next week's uh, show. Uh, but back to, back to my gap and his crew of villains. I appreciate them, and they're amazing kids. I love each and every one of them. Concrete, non-future, and even his roommate. He's a cool dude. I like him. His other roommate. I think he's got four or three. I don't know. Anyways, we call that the base house. He also has a base farm. Don't know anything about it. He loves horses all of a sudden. Go figure. He's a horse himself. So, with that being said, next month's... Uh, lineup is going to be actually quite epic because I'm going to have more females next month. So in the month of August, the first show of August is going to be uh, with Precious. That's right. You, that's, you heard it. Precious. We all want to know what, what she's really thinking about. And then we have a new father going to be up stepping up in the following week of the 11th. G. Dubbin. He's a brand new dad. Congratulations. Congratulations, my friend. You are in daddy hood. <laughs> And then the following week, we got Mix Fix. She's in charge of tits. Uh, it's a crew that's a drone based crew that specializes in uh, female junglists and female DJs and female talent. And so they're, so they're pushing the female aspect of things in LA, which is good. I think everybody should have a chance. And Mix Fix is a part of that crew and if not in charge of it. And big ups to her. And then we got uh, the following week, till in, in the month of August, it'll be uh, Rebel Lion. All the way from San Diego. Now that's my brother, right there. I got two brothers, Greg Haggard and Rebel Lion. And those guys, they'll tell you like it is, the truth. And they won't fuck you, believe me. They won't fuck you. They'll let you know if they're gonna fuck you. But at least you won't know by surprise. So those guys are true and I consider them really best friends. And uh, he'll be on the show at the end of the month. And uh, we'll definitely hear stories about him because, believe me, he's been around the scene longer than I have. And uh, it'd be great to have him. So I'm looking over here on uh, Facebook. And I usually look at a lot of things. And um, in August, we got a big month in August, apparently, uh, for respect. We got Doc Scott and Lensman coming through. And we got Scuba. He's a resident over there at Respect. Now, I wish there was more open slots at respect I, I understand giving the resident people the residency every week you know drones scuba and whatnot but we should switch it up a little bit I, I, I think maybe they should sit down every once in a while and give it to the people that are really that go to the shows and um, pay for the shows and you know see what they got you never know. There might be some kind of hidden talent out there that you don't know about. And you might want to recruit him. Who knows? But I think everybody should have a chance. I really believe that. And uh, more power to him. Um, oh, I just got a uh, message on Facebook here from uh, Gregory Haggard. He's talking about uh, laughing my ass out loud. Mix Fix. He's like, I love you. Yes, uh, Mix Fix and Gregory Haggard. They don't really get along too well because... Uh, well, huh, I can see his point a lot more than I can see hers. But I'm not here. I'm not now judge or jury. But uh, they're, 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 let's just say they're best of friends. And, uh, and uh, they won't be having tea time anytime soon. So with that being said, uh, big ups to Gregory Bandit. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be talking soon, my friend. And uh, we'll have you on the show soon enough. Um, I might even have you as a co-host if Mickey Flair... Um, has to work again. Who knows? I was talking to Mike Contrast uh, from Denver. He also lives out here in Costa Mesa, California. And um, he's also in the drum and bass scene. He loves drum and bass. He loves the music. I also talked to him today, and he would like to be a part of uh, 
the Love and Bass show. So I might have him as a co-host and uh, as a little guest co-host if Mickey Flair ever, uh, you know, is out and about doing what he does best. Sells cars. Does it really well. Um, and then, uh, oh, Greg. <laughs> See, this is why I love the internet because it's so quick and so fast. I mean, these instant messages, these Facebook messages, I mean, please, hit, hit, hit up the chat room, hit up the Facebook, hit up my phone, call in. You want to talk about something. And uh, she's a train wreck. Copy that, Greg. I understand your feelings completely. So with that being said, big ups to Greg Haggard and uh, pointing out the facts. And I will talk to you soon. Uh, with that being said, we're going to take a little break. I think uh, Matt's here. And uh, I'm going to welcome him in, get him set up. You know, him and his, uh, I got the booster seat here, so he's kind of a short guy, so I need to really elevate it a little bit more. But uh, until then, I'll see you soon.
Yes, yes, I'm back, I'm back. Man, you know, you take a commercial break and you get Texas and you get Facebook blasts. Like, I guess people are really tuning in because right here I'm getting a, a, a Facebook blast from uh, Anthony, false move, DJ producer in the drone bass scene. He lives in Hesperia, I believe. Oh, we call that over the mountain. And he says, laugh out loud. Thank you for saying that about giving people a chance. Someone had to. That's true. I'm here to do this for you. I'm here to say, hey, give these fucking people a chance. You know? Yeah, cool. You got a fucking residency for uh, 10 years. Wow. Generations change every 10 years. Okay? New people move on. New people get introduced to. So why don't you give them a chance? You know? Period. That's what I like. Give people a chance. I'm talking about all crews. I mean, even Timeless, they need to give people a chance, not just the second room. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, with that being said, no problem. That's what I'm here for. And then I get another listener, Go More Howard Stern. Big ups to Logical. Yeah, I'm going to put you on blast on that one. Yeah, for sure. I will go How More Howard Stern because he is a truth serum and he is the real. So, yeah, more power to him. Oh, and Greg. We can't forget about Greg. He's like, I need to get off the internet. I'm talking too much. It does work too well and fast. You're right. It does work real quick and real fast. But the truth is out there, and the truth will set you free. And with that being said, McGat's here. He just walked through the door, and I, and I, and I saw him for the first time in I don't know how long. And, and it looked like he got two black eyes. I'm like, what the fuck happened to you, dude? I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, there's no way you lost a fight. And then he says, no, that's the horse life. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. So I'm pretty sure we'll hear a story about that in his horse life. But uh, he is here drinking a Coors Light on the phone, chilling. And, uh, oh, hi. How you doing? What's going on? So, yeah, he'll be uh, joining us shortly. Um, he's trying to merge his way back here. He, he does fit through small corners and small obstacles. But, yeah, that's what he does. But, uh he will be setting actually he's setting up right now oh my god yeah this is what i mean djs they just they just take let's take over and this is a guy that takes over uh, uh this guy he's, he's got a twenty thousand dollar system in front of him and he says no stand i'm sorry bring a stand <clears throat> so <clears throat> with that being said we're gonna get matt matt ready for his mix and then we're gonna do a little interview process and uh stay tuned there we go. Oh, 
Cause the night is young Who cares where we go We're ready for the afterglow So
Street Show with myself. We're having some technical difficulties on the video stream, but the audio is all good. I don't know why I'm having a problem, but uh, I can't change it now. So the show must go on. So fuck it. I don't give a shit. There's no sound in the gap. Here we go.
that other fly. And when that other fly goes and bites a human, the little larva um, drop off her belly, and the larva penetrate um, and kind of spin and begin uh, to uh, enlarge and become actual flies.
is an expert, the highly exalted. I exercise dance floors, leave them exhausted. Exploring apex sound, expedition feel the excess demons. Y'all can bring the exorcism. I exert stress when I export beats that exhilarate the hard and exterminate the weak. Execution level X, no way to explain it. I'm XXX, bitch, triple X rated.
For the youth in the ghetto, me a pray every day that the Almighty Jack and wanna stop them go astray. So I pick up the gun and them a take life away. Let me tell the people now, get a life there. Every day when we get up, it's a gunshot. When they yell, they shut up, but you better get cut. Every day when we get up, it's a gunshot. When they yell, gunshot, but you better get cut. Every day when we get up, it's a gunshot. When they yell, they shut up, but you better get cut. Every day when we get up, it's a gunshot. When they yell, gunshot, but you better get cut. In the city, young them I try to get cool. Just to make a hustle, sometimes bend the road. A boy with a jack, so I take my purpose. So just put and come back and you a bust for your toes. Now you see them in a prison playing cards in a school. Where the youth a grow big and a start to a school. I'm one and all the youth them with the gun them for cool.
to go cheese Not even worry if this record gets so good It's for my haters, for the people in the club, club. The ladies on my dance floor, the homies